This is our lecture number six, and our topic is depreciation. So, what is depreciation? Depreciation means that there is reduction in the value of fixed assets of a firm, and such reduction must have two qualities. That qualities is it is permanent in nature and gradual in nature. So, uh, coming to the topic. it means fall in the value of tangible fixed asset depreciation is the term which is used for reducing the value of the fixed asset of a firm but only the book value of the fixed assets of a firm and such fixed assets must be tangible in nature there are two different type of fixed assets as we all know we read in chapter number 2 that tangible as fixed assets are of two type tangible and intangible so reduction in the value of tangible fixed assets is only considered as a depreciation so why such fall in the value occur why the value of our fixed assets fall the first reason is because of its usage when we are going to use our asset there is wear and tear of the asset such wear and tear cause the depreciation next is the time factor so what is the time factor due to obsolescence of the technology outdate uh, outdation of the technology the reduction in the value of fixed assets is known as depreciation and next last but not the least these are the accidental causes like uh there is breakdown of the machinery next is the depreciation is permanent continuous diminishing jab hum kar rahe hain apni assets ko kisi ko depreciate karne ja rahe hain to wo jo depreciation ka amount hoga theek hai wo hum next video mein dekhenge ki depreciation ki us kaise nikalta hai numerical form mein ye kaisa hai abhi hum theoretical portion ko iske utha rahe hain to hum kya keh rahe hain ki jo ko hum decrease karne wale hai na value wo permanent in nature hai aisa nahi hai ki ek bar maine apni asset ko 10000 se decrease kar diya then next year main usko usi 10000 se wapas le lunga when we reduce our fixed assets value of our fixed asset by a certain amount and call that amount is the depreciation we can't take back it next is the diminishing in the quality not only the quantity of the asset is going to be decreased the quality of the asset is also going to be decreased why such quality decrease due to usage we are using it then the quality become reduced when we are going to use some asset continuously in our business the quality become reduced or by some accident the quality of that asset become reduced next is or value of the fixed asset value here basically means that the book value we can also say that that value is the book value of the asset so uh, this is b book value of the asset okay next are the characteristics of depreciation what are the basic characteristics of a depreciation when we are going to identify the amount that that reduction is due to the depreciation so certain uh, these five points must have contained in that amount so we call that that is a depreciation on a fixed asset first of all fall in the book value of the fixed asset that only the book value of the fixed asset is going to be reduced by charging the depreciation not the market value as discussed in second point that it reduce only Only the book value, not the market value of an asset. Next one is permanent in nature. Once we reduce our fixed asset and say that this amount is our depreciation, we can't take back it. So it it is permanent in nature. We can't take back. Next is non-cash expenditure. When we are going to depreciate our fixed asset, it is not that we are going to pay some other firm that amount. Some outside party that amount. It is an inter-firm transaction. We are not going. There is no outflow of cash. so when we are going to maintain the cash flow statement we can't take it it is a non cash expenditure next is only on tangible fixed assets abhi maine aapko starting mein kya bataya ki jab hum depreciation laga rahe hain to hum fixed assets par to laga rahe hain par kaun se nature ke wo fixed assets honi chahiye tangible honi chahiye kyun if we are going to decrease the value of intangible assets such is amortization the term used for reduction in the value of intangible fixed assets such is amortization not the depreciation in this video we are going to only overview the theoretical portion of depreciation in our next video which is named by lecture number 7 we are going to do the numerical portion of the depreciation and basically we are going to discuss two different form of uh, depreciation methods of depreciation one is straight line method and then next is diminishing balance method thank you